Okay, we have a question from Nathaniel West. Can you do a subject to on a probate estate sale? Yes, Nathaniel. I'm glad you asked that question. That's a that's a bonus question, man. All right. So here's what's so. The the person who borrowed the money died. That person now uh, has passed their assets on to their heirs. The probate court is the court that decides who's going to get what. They're going to choose an administrator or an executor or executrix of the estate. That person is going to be charged with liquidating those assets. That person is going to be empowered to sign a purchase and sale agreement. And they'll be signing on they, they'll have what's called letters of administration. So they'll have the power to sign that agreement. You won't have to get all the heirs together to sign the agreement once the probate court has gotten involved. Now, once uh, you are negotiating with that particular person, of course, you're going to know that there's existing financing on the property. You want to know how much the balance is, what's owed, what's the interest rate on there, and what's the monthly payment. You find that out from this person that has the letters of administration. And one of the ways that we teach you in your presentation process and your cost to sell worksheet is that we can show people like that administrator that you can actually pay more for the property because you can take over that existing financing on the property. So you'll be making them a cash offer. If they don't like that cash offer, then show them how you can offer them more simply by allowing you to take over the existing financing on the property. Very powerful message and it does work. And I have taken over existing financing on probate properties. So it absolutely can be done. Great question. You might need some coaching on that, by the way, because there is going to be a lot of questions in between what I just said and the final contract on that. But we're we're here to help. 